Welcome to my channel tune to linux in this video i'm going to demonstrate how to add an additional agent node in puppet master okay so currently i have one puppet master running in uh, running here and the ip is this one 192.168.169.206 okay and if i click on node you can see there is only one node you would be able to see and that name is puppet.tuntolinux.com and there is no other node uh, inside this location and if you just wanted to see the configuration you just need to click on configuration and you would be able to see the configuration here about the services if you wanted to see what are the services running you need to click here so this is just uh, to show you my prepared master dashboard how it look like okay so and after an agent i would show you there would be an, an additional node it will going to add here so I'm going to show you it is pretty much easy so here if you just click on node and if you go to unassigned certificate if you can see one option called one uh, command it has given here which is simple okay so you just need to run this command so it will aid with this puppet master okay so I promise you to show you how to add an agent a couple months ago when I have prepared my puppet master video but uh, it took a little time because I couldn't uh, I couldn't prepare this video so currently I have ready uh, one agent is ready so this is my agent this is running RHL 6.8 server if I just do a release here you can see it is 6.8 okay so and also my puppet master is uh, running this one the version is 2006 uh, 5.1 version which is the current and latest version so in order to add an additional client or agent in with your uh, puppet master you don't need to do much you just need to run this command okay so before that i need to just ensure that my prerequisites are done so the first prerequisite is slash etc host file so you need to ensure your puppet master entry is in inside this file if it is not there then you need to ensure that this name is resolving and this name is added into dns so if it is in dns then you you probably don't need to edit in slash etc host file but if you don't have dns you need to ensure you have locally added okay so and second thing is you need to check because there are some uh, dependency packages may require to install when while you install your puppet engine so it is always better to have your uh, uh, agent, uh, agent server repository is created Okay, so you don't you just need to run that command. Let me just go to here and just copy paste the command. Okay, so once I run this, it will just calculate and try to reach your puppet server, puppet master server, and it will going to install the package. So it will not going to install much package. Only thing is the puppet agent package, which is going to install, and it is around the size of 29 MB. So my puppet agent package is installing. So it is taking a little time. And after your puppet is installed, there are some uh, settings which is ensuring those settings are correct so it is automatically done if you are not installing through this command you need to set the settings manually so it is always better to run this command so that you don't need to do manual things so you can see there are some settings happen here and your puppet and then installation is done so now if I go to this server and I click on node still you cannot see no server entry here only one server which is puppet master it is showing here it will take some time and when I'm when I my refresh my page you can see one entry came here one of you can see there is one request which is coming from agent and if I click on this you can see here there is uh, agent.team to linux.com 
and there is a fingerprints and it is asking whether to accept or reject okay so this is one way and also you can see puppet uh, command line you can check puppet set list and you can see this is this is the request which is come from puppet, puppet agent okay so you can also command line also you can edit or you can just go here and just accept I would show you later when I'll add an additional node how to do it uh, command line it is nothing but just uh, easy command puppet uh, node sign and the server name you have to mention okay so so for now I'll just show you here in GUI so let me just accept it and I have accepted and it is added now let me go to and click on node here it is going to take a little time again to fetch all the information and fetch the inventory so currently it is showing only one node it will take one some time I will going to refresh it in some time and see whether it is showing or not and when I refresh I, I, I just able to see my the agent node which is I have added so you can here you can see the agent node is added you can see the details about the agent node by clicking on it okay so it is pretty much easy to add an additional node okay so for this video it is uh, not much so this is uh, this is it which I was supposed to show you okay so uh, for my future videos I'm going to show you more on puppet how to add module uh, additional node in command line and also I will discuss about puppet history and how we have to manage your agent nodes and many things about puppets okay so thank you so much for watching this video have a good day